thank you, Canberra, but thank you to the broader Labor family. This is, tonight's result is a result of the hard work of everyone in this room and everyone in the broader Labor movement and all of Labor's supporters across the Australian Capital Team. that we are gathered tonight on the lands of the Ngunnawal people and I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. I thank the Deputy Chief Minister, re-elected member for Ginandera, term of government and the term before that. Could not ask for a more supportive Deputy Chief Minister and Deputy Leader of the Labor Party. You make me a better leader. Thank you, Yvette. <laughs> to all of my parliamentary Labor colleagues, thank you. Leading the Labor team in the Assembly is the greatest privilege and honour of my life. I couldn't perform this role without your tremendous support. You always have my back and I will be forever grateful to all of you. Thank you. like to be a first-time candidate and I know the tremendous support that you have drawn from your campaign support teams. Your results tonight are, are a result of all of their collective hard work. The Labor Party is a movement and it's a movement of the grassroots. So to Without your work, we could not be successful in elections. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Collectively, we have knocked on nearly every door in Canberra, <laughs> run nearly every mobile and landline, <laughs> had more conversations than any other political party with the voters of Canberra. And what we've seen tonight is the result of that hard work. A seventh term of government is an understandably. 
she and her team have worked incredibly hard and diligently and have received reasonable support across the community. We should acknowledge that and acknowledge the contribution that the Liberal Party made to our democracy. I don't always agree, but it is important that there is a strong opposition. And I congratulate the of the has, as most Assembly elections do, seen some change in the makeup of the Assembly. To each of the sitting members who have retired or were not re-elected, I thank you for your extensive contribution to our democracy, to our parliament and to our community. You all make a big contribution. Bench, but I'm confident that we will once again be able to form a progressive and stable government for the people. Yeah. We are rightly proud of our Labor values. We are rightly proud of the platform that we take to the community every four years. This campaign has been near flawless in its execution due to the tremendous work, to the tremendous work of Ash, Toby and the, the team in party office.
two is electrifying our bus fleet and electrifying our city. We will not, we will not take a backward step on climate action. to be powered 100% by renewable electricity. We are, now building, we are now building the big Canberra battery to store that renewable energy. And, and through our sustainable household scheme, a nation leading ACT labour initiative, we are supporting households to save money reduce emissions and create more jobs in our renewable energy sector. This is a labour initiative. This is a labour initiative that is making cost of living easier for Canberrans and taking real action on climate. Target to grow our labour market to 250,000 jobs by 2025. We are at 270,000. Our next task is to continue to grow our economy, create more jobs the lowest unemployment rate in Australia because Labor always is and always will be the party of secure local jobs. <laughs> this progressive agenda supporting economic growth, climate action, and investment in public services is what we talk to the people of Canberra and once again we have been endorsed to lead the government of the Australian Capital Territory. None of this is possible though without the support of every person in this room. I've said before that a politician is only ever as good as the staff who support them. Tonight I want to pay tribute to my Chief of Staff, Michael Cook. Yeah. 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 Michael, Michael has worked with me for nearly 10 years. Oh. Now, Andrew and I have been together for 25 years. <laughs> So there is, a, there is another man in this room who has put up with me for longer. <laughs> but Michael, I couldn't do it without you. You and the team. To Matt, Fahim, Mark, Yashina, Karen, Mark S, Britt, Max, Freya and Reese. I enjoy coming to work every day with you. You make the job of being Chief Minister, which is a hard job.
couldn't do this without you. My parents, my brother and sister-in-law, <laughs> Angus, thank you. Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> Angus has been at three elections now, first in a little koala suit, I think, because I was it when he was a little baby. And now, growing up, it's so wonderful to be able to share this occasion with you all. Thank you. To my parents, well, I, I wouldn't be here without your tremendous support. <laughs> but it's, uh, it, with a little family in joke that the firstborn and the secondborn. <laughs> well, look, we, we have slightly placed slightly different pressures on our parents, <laughs> uh, and I know me being in the public spotlight has has been challenging at times, uh, particularly in a, in a small community. But I couldn't do it without your support. Thank you. Spring Out Pride event on the, on the 13th of November 1999. Went 25 years, nearly. Anthony, I love you. Aww. And this, this is the moment that does tend to attract a little bit of national attention. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. 